res but research happens to you all the time. Research is living. You know, you live your life and then you find there are characters, stories and ideas. You don't need to do a lot of research to have an idea. Somebody might just tell you a story and then you think that's a great story. I'll use that. I can, there's something in that for me. And off you go. It's mostly, you just need a spark and then there's a flame, then there's the idea. I write a lot about families, and families change all the time. The whole idea of the family changes all the time. When I was a kid, mostly families were one small unit, two parents, two kids. Um, and now the whole thing is, is in motion. There are lesbians having children, there are gay families, there are huge extended families. The fa whole family idea is creatively moving on the whole time. And if you're a writer and you're interested in these central or substantial human relationships, then you try and track that and map that. Well, I live in London. I write about London. And I write about my part of London, which is mostly West London. Um, I don't spend much time here. What I'm interested in is just whatever happens around me, the shops, the people, Polish immigration, Romanian in um, immigration, there's some Hungarian people that live, live near me. I mean, you can take anything as a story, and then it becomes a representative story if you can see the links between what's happening socially and what's happening between the people. I don't know if the Black Album is still relevant. I can't answer that question. I mean, the young people I was writing about in the Black Album in the 90s are not the same as young people today, young people in their 20s and 30s. Um, is it relevant? Well, there is still terrorism in Britain, there is still radical Islam, there is still fundamentalism, there are, there are very serious attacks on free speech, um, there's a lot of homophobia in the Muslim community, a lot of hatred of women in the Muslim community, um, and liberalism and democracy really has to struggle against the hatred of certain versions of Islam which are very dangerous. There's some fantastic writers, they're all at lunch here today, Mohammed Hanif, Mohsen Hamid, Kamala Shamsi and so on. It's amazing that these writers, most of whom have been educated in the US, um, are beginning to write about this strange, damaged, broken country that's producing these amazing writers. How could you not be thrilled and excited by that? Well, something happens. Something electric happens between the reader and the writer. You write something down and it sparks something in somebody else's mind. Just as the stuff that I've read has really influenced me and made me think about the world differently. That's what you try and do. Maybe these writers, Mohsen Hamid, etc., will be read in Pakistan. Uh, and there'll be other younger writers coming after them, I hope, writing in English, writing about this country, which is the most fascinating place in the world, Pakistan.